I'm at the Art Alive Gallery and I am here with Lakshma Gaudji and with a solo show. Uh, hello Lakshma Ji, Kaise hai? how are you? <laughs> It's a wonderful show you put together to this time and we really well, I'm like so it. happy that uh, you, you like it and I'm coming to a city like Delhi mm -hmm. after several years. Why? Because I'm emotionally attached uh, to the idea of, uh, I should say that I was found by someone like Mr. Al Khazi way back in early 70s, that is 71. Uh, he went and told his wife, that was the time when he was look, they were looking after Kemol Gallery mm -hmm. and Roshan was heading it. Uh, he went and told her, look, there's one guy with very small format work mm -hmm. and densely black and white mm -hmm. and uh, at times one may feel very repulsive about it, but that's the guy, if you think that we are in search of younger people, mm. why not you go and have a look? Mm. And uh, she immediately came running next day, and uh, I was in my hopeless state of, because <laughs> nothing was sold and nothing was admired, and a woman comes middle-aged and she says, who is Lakshma Gaud? <laughs> so she could identify me, <laughs> and I am and she inquired few little academic things mm. that where I come from where I have studied mm. the minute she heard that I was in Baroda I was with Professor K.G. Subramanian for a year and a half oh. said what? <laughs> you with Manila? I said yes and I swear from then oh. I have not seen back and everything was taken <laughs> like that okay. and I had my first show mm, talk about it that the entire art community which is known to me in Delhi though Delhi artists are not Delhi they all came from outside <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it was such a wonderful experience everyone came and spoke to me what qualitative work that I bought to Delhi yeah. and they were all thrilled and probably that has uh, had its own spell on the Delhi community of art and art lovers mm. and all the works were sold out Lovely. <laughs> and the entire portfolio of my prints uh -huh. were twice acquired by al -Khazis. And then, I don't know whether you have heard about a person called Mukundulat, mm. mm, whose children now running a gallery in mm. Calcutta. Yes. And uh, he, yes, mm. and he has kept that collection in his house. He doesn't part with them. He doesn't even allow anyone to look <laughs> at those works. And uh, some uh, part of that collection I am exhibiting there. Yeah. No, no, we were no. talking about uh, some uh, influences which were international. Ah, no, no. Um, I think uh, the, the, the medium and the techniques I have indulged in, uh, I almost felt, fortunately, uh, uh, I, I visited Latin America, for example, countries like Peru. Uh, when I saw their textile, when I saw their ceramics and terracottas, yes. they were close, so much close to us. I could feel that it is done there in Vijayawada or in Guntur or in Hyderabad. Yes. And their textile, the colors, uh -huh. the luminosity of the color, you know, uh, is very much like my ikat weaving in uh, Pochampalli, you know. Yes. And uh, so, uh, at times you wonder, uh, out of your own fantasies, maybe we were all the same. Uh, like many of our anthropologists tell us uh, that there were a few agrarian societies on earth mm. uh, who knew how to grow mirchi mm. and tomato mm. and alu and eventually the idea of wheel finding the meaning to the circle mm. or a zero you know uh, from where it came we don't know but people say uh, that it is Mexico uh, which produced that variety of chili you know mm. 
and uh, me in andhra i am branded as a chili brand you know ye mirchi brand wala to mujhe suddenly laga ke soils dekho earth pe can bring us uh, together uh, they can destroy the idea of distance and territories of the nations you know uh, because at one given point of time probably we were all the same and i do have um, a faith uh, in those kinds of things uh, i may be whatever i believe in it you know maybe i was a mayan you know <laughs> and i like the idea of maya you know what is maya in in telugu maya is mystery right and mayan culture uh, is something you know uh, it takes you to those elevated uh, temple and sacrifices and so and so forth and uh, the whole concept of lifting the being closer to the heaven yes because we start we uproot ourselves and we forget about our hell and heaven you know yes. probably that's what they had built yeah uh, basically you have to be grounded and you have to reach for the sky and sky. that that's a very <laughs> fascinating <laughs> idea that's a very fascinating thank you lakshma ji no it's my pleasure <laughs>